and he'll get tied up with the consequences of this felony conviction. And uh, right now it looks like a very effective strategy the Democrats are using. It reminds me of uh, Bill Belichick's teams, particularly when they played Peyton Manning and the Indianapolis Colts, right? They'd instruct their, their defense, particularly the defensive backfield, to just assault the opposing team's receivers on the theory that in a big game, the referee's not gonna wanna throw a pass interference flag on every down. And so New England Patriots won their first Super Bowl against the Los Angeles Rams by routinely assaulting the uh, key Rams running back who was the key to the whole Los Angeles offense. And they just brutalized him and tackled him and made him a non-factor in the game because they figured that the rest likely wouldn't want to throw a flag on every play. And then to keep uh, Peyton Manning and the Indianapolis Colts under control, again, uh, Bill Belichick and the Patriots would press every advantage, right? They would instruct their defense to manhandle the Colt receivers the theory that uh, Indianapolis wouldn't be able to fight back effectively. So Democrats have uh, pushed forward electoral changes to make it easier for their voters to get out to vote, thinking that uh, this would be the way to electoral advantage. And now they've pushed forward the legal system to prosec successfully prosecute and convict Donald Trump of 34 felonies. So the Democrats definitely have the first mover advantage, and the Patriots won a lot of Super Bowls.